Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my video. Um, there's a lot of uh, churches and stuff that, you know, talks about this uh, scripture in the Bible that's uh, about the restrainer. But anyway, first off, I want to give my um, Father in Heaven, my Creator, and uh, there's a feminine aspect to Him, to, to God too. So, you know, we've all got a... a God mother, you might say, you know, there's because there's something up with that. It's in God's name. But anyway, I give him and my Redeemer, Yeshua is his name, Jesus Christ, all the honor, glory, and praise. And I want to thank him for what he's done for mankind, even though they don't appreciate, you know, man, they could care less about God or anybody, you know, most of them, not everybody, but most of them. But anyway, I'm going to read that. I want to read this about, uh, the uh, restrainer. Who is a restrainer in the Bible? It talks about in Second Thessalonians two and six. And for um, oh shoot, oh okay, there man. I'm trying to see if my mic's on. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna read it here. Um, 2 Thessalonians 2, 6, 7 reads, And you know what is restraining him now, so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. Who is this restrainer? Well, I'm going to show you who it is. The skies tell a story. The whole picture of our, our existence is reflected from the sky down to this earth. We're a reflection, a hologram, a avatar. So anyway, but I want to, exp I want to show you who the skies tell our story. This, there'll be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. God told Abraham, you count the star. You can't count the stars. That's going to be the number of your uh, seed. So uh, I'm part of that seed, okay? A lot of everybody, most everybody is. I don't think everybody is. I think a lot of people's uh, Satan's children. But anyway, um, I don't know how good y'all can see this, but right here is a constellation called Ophiuchus. Heaven's Golden Gate is right here on the knee. That's Heaven's Golden Gate. It's uh, on the 267 longitude on the ecliptic. Uh, you see he's got a snake. He's bearing a snake. He's called the, the uh, serpent bearer. He bears it. He, he's got a hold of this. He's restraining this snake. Okay, that's what it's talking about. The stars in this constellation of Ophiuchus is the restrainer. You know, they may be thousands and thousands of people, you know, stars you can't see. So, but... I just know there's some main stars on here, and I can show you. I can show you by name who these people are, the restrainers. There's just there's more than one, but there's one main one out of these one of these stars right here. But anyway, let's read a little bit. Uh, let me let me show you what my name means right quick. Uh, my first name I was given because you can take that Hebrew gematria and and uh, you can calculate anything. It, you can decode anything in this world, and it relates off to our English alphabet because all they've done is they they've turned the letters and you know they've stretched them out, and done a few things to them, but they're still the same looking letter. You know, like the Aleph is like an A, like a bull in his horns with the two horns going out. Well, that's if you turn A up on its side, it looks the same way pretty much. So they've taken these and they've they've conscrewed these uh, our our letters. In our alphabet, but they still have they still can follow that same coding as the Hebrew, because they're lettered one through twenty six, or in the, the Hebrew's letter goes to four, like eight hundred, or you know goes up to. So you can use it as a decode. You can decode anything you want to. God gave us said He'd give us knowledge at the end of time, and that's where we're at. We're at the end of time, and you have the church people squawking about, you know, you're into Satanism, you know, that Hebrew, that Gematria is satanic and all that stuff. Well, you have, to, if it is, I'm just saying you have to know your enemy's tools and what he uses, or you'll be lost. They, the, the church has been misguided, misled. And I don't want to speak bad about the church because a lot of them's going to be saved. They, you know, a lot of them's going to be saved, and they, uh, they, uh, you know, just on their, just on because they, 
got they've got the right combination. They've got the blood of Yeshua on their on their hearts. You know, they've been covered with the blood, been washed with the blood. And uh, I'm in a little town right now. Well, I ain't gonna say the name of it, but anyway, um, you heard that song? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? That's what it takes to get you into heaven. You have to have that on it. And um, my name here, Travis, because I used to wonder what you know all my names meant, is derived from the word tra traverser or to cross, to cross over. Another one down here is uh, crossroads, toll gate, toll gate keeper. That's my, what my name means. My middle name is Dwayne. It means wagon maker. Like, you know, I'm carrying you, going to carry you across to cross over. And my last name is... Um, Garrison means a fortress, a, a ruler. That's what my last name means. They ain't going to look all these up. You know, you can look them up. My name's Travis Dwayne Garrison, and you can look it all up, you know, research it yourself. And some of these things here you're going to have to research because I, I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. All right, there's two gates in heaven. Um, there's a silver gate and a golden gate, the entries into heaven. <clears throat> I don't know which one. I know which in, which gate I'm at is Ophiuchus, the on the ecliptic. But... Ophiuchus is the crossing over constellation. You may move your sight through the sky observing the signs on the outside of Ophiuchus, stating with Scorpio, and move your eyes over to Sagittarius. You cross over to the direction towards the galactic center, which the gate's on there. Now, I'm going to leave us a link to this and because this is real interesting if you'll know what i'm talking about because it's got so much information on it you know it's it's very interesting if you want to take and read it i've read it and uh um it's very you know it's really interesting it'll tell you kind of what's going on in the um the um There's, there's several things about con the Ophiuchus, and they've hid this constellation from us. You know, they didn't want us to know what that, that constellation is really up there. They have 12 signs of the zodiac. There's actually 13, because they were 13 tribes of Israel. Dan got kicked out because of um, of uh, DNA problems. You know, trading. Anyway, I'm not going to go into all that right there, but I just wanted to show you all that. Um, this is... Um, who the restrainer is that the Bible's talking about. The church is guest and guest and guest, and they're saying it's the Holy Spirit. And uh, and when the Holy Spirit's removed from this earth, that uh, that that's the restrainer. Well, you know, I can kind of I can kind of say that, you know, see that, but that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the way it it's that's where the golden gate of heaven is. Is on Ophiuchus on the ecliptic. 267 longitude that's where i'm from uh, i'm uh, i'm the gatekeeper of heaven's golden gate and it's you know and, and it says that the you know i've seen i've got so much there's so much evil in this world that i've got to the point where god it's time to reveal who i am you know i mean you you don't a person don't like i've always tried to have a humble heart and all that kind of stuff i don't want it to, you know, I never wanted to bring attention to myself whatsoever. But when it's time, it's time. You know, nobody else is going to do it for me. I, God's, God's done told me that. You know, if there's nobody going to do this, Travis. You're going to have, you've got to do it. You've got to announce who you are. And but, so time will end because I'm ready for it to end. I mean, it's time. I'm ready for it to end. The big uh, filament came off the sun today and it made a whirl, it made a uh, torus field on top of the sun for a little bit, like it's crowning the sun. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to do a different video on it. Um, a different video on this later tonight, maybe. Um, something that's very fascinating, I thought. Okay. This lady, her, I'm going to, Susan Inspires is the name of her channel, but I want y'all to see everyone. this. Welcome to my channel. Um, Welcome to my video. Um. Okay, this is a human resonance. This is the heartbeat of our existence. The, human, the magnetic field. 
Okay, and there's things emanate in these fields. And this lady put this together. She rep done a mirror image of itself. That's what she did. did. And because we're in a reflection, you have to put both pieces together to see. You know, you have to. It's like a mirror. You you, you put both pieces together to uh, see. Um, you know, to see the whole picture. Uh, all right. In um, there's a king right here. And this is, if you see the coat of arms, and I'll show the coat of arms, I'll show you this. This is a saint symbol right here. Y'all see the little hook, like flower looking thing, like New Orleans saints. That's a saint symbol. So this is the saint, the king that's coming. And uh, you can see his face right there, the crown. And I'll show you this is just like a coat of arms. And uh, I kept wondering, where have I seen those images at the top before? And uh, I think I've got on this page right here. Right here. Maybe. I'm looking for a different one. I should have had it done pulled up, but I wasn't going to do this part right now. Um. Now remember, this is coming up next year. Oh, it's not. I don't have it in there. That uh, that August twenty one, uh, April eighth eclipse. Um, I think I'm gonna end this video. That's all I was really want to do about Opiucus of Restrainer. That's who he is. It's not. It's not the whole church like this. Um, it's not like the whole church. The that's, you know, and I. I because God gives us a picture of everything he does. Ophiuchus is the serpent bearer. He's restraining the serpent. And the, that, that serpent is waiting, you know, trying to get to that heaven's golden gate to stop people from going in it. That's the, that is the, um, the whole purpose of it. And he's being restrained. And, um, oh, let me do something else right quick. I'll show you. Um, you bear with me just for a second. Okay, this is talking about Opiuchus. You see the name there, Opiuchi. Anyway, um, y'all just hang with me for a minute, please. All these ads popping up. Um, I don't know how to get rid of them. They used to didn't. They used to was not on here. Okay. Ophiuchi is 89. It's equal to 89. Travis, that's equal to 89. See, that's how you can kind of, uh, you know, you can kind of start. I mean, this don't tell you the whole story, you know, for sure. You couldn't go by this just alone. Um, and then... Uh, Two sixty-seven. That's the longitude on the ecliptic. Um, the e, in Jupiter's uh, frequency is two sixty-seven too. Also, you know that's why I can make it go out because my frequencies as high as Jupiter's or higher. My frequency. My ears ring all the time. That's because I'm hearing that logos, that word that uh, that God speaks out because that's what we're created from. That frequency we're created from sound. But um, 
there's a lot more to this than that but i just thought i'd show you that while i was doing this page i'm gonna end this video i thank y'all for coming please hit the like button it helps other people find this video these this information because we're at the end of time i mean you know it's warning time this is really a warning of you know i'm not trying to be rude or I ain't no fear monger i'm just saying we're at the end of this time i was this is what i was raised for from five years old i remember i started talking to god every day and i went and done my bad stuff too you know like when i got to be a teenager but i'll tell you one thing that i did you know a lot of stuff was wasn't wrong for some people like uh saying cuss words and stuff or saying i we call them cuss words and um i never said a cuss word till i was in the 10th grade and it was a four-letter cuss word because i had two friends knew i didn't cut say a cuss word and i had two a cousin and a friend of his they i fell into the peer pressure and i said this word that i and my heart i wasn't supposed to say now it might you know it might not be wrong for you because some you know god requires different things of different people sometimes you know especially when it's got a higher calling they, you know, so anyway, and I'm going to tell you what, I was sick for th two, three, or four weeks after that. I'll never forget it. When I said that, I felt so bad that I said that word, you know, and, uh, and I mean, it kind of broke my heart, <laughs> but anyway, you know, and that's just, and it may not be, it wasn't, it probably wasn't wrong for them to say it. They didn't even, you know, I don't even think they knew what they were saying. They just knew it wasn't supposed to, I wasn't going to say it. And they, and I fell into the peer pressure, but that's just part of my learning as I was growing up. So thank y'all for coming to my video. I'm going to, oh, this 300 right here too. I mean, these numbers right here, if you look those up, you'll see, you'll start seeing who you are by this. You know, you can go on down to your, um, I mean, you, not through just this, but through your birth charts and stuff like that, that you can finally figure out who you are because they did they tried to hide from me who I was. They changed my my the structure of my blood is what they, they used to do when I was a kid. If you go to, if you say if you take antibiotics, you think about that. I was on antibiotics as a child with tonsillitis, I mean six, eight months out of the year, all the time. Think about that word antibiotic, bio, antibio, that's your biography. They're, they're trying to kill your biography with that, those antibiotics. It ain't just for infections. It's for antibio, you know, like your antibiography. That's what antibiotics are for, the main part. So anyway, that's what they've done to me. I lived on them. And uh, I took so many of those things. And I gargled so much peroxide when I was a kid, you know, and because uh, I was trying to get that infection out of my throat and stuff. But... Uh, that's what they've done to me. Thank y'all for coming to my video.